Well, here we have yet another example of the Talmudic Jewish lobby uh, attacking and hating on free speech because they have a consistent record of doing this. And also, they will give some of these guys will give lip service. Some of these people in the Talmudic Jewish lobby will give lip service to free speech, but it's only speech they agree with. See, they will only invoke freedom of speech when it's just speech they like and agree with. See, if it's something they don't like, then oh, it should be it should be censored and banned. But if it's if it's something they do like, well, see, they're selective in their support essentially. So they they have double standards on the whole on the whole issue. Uh, essentially, what's going on is that they'll support speech. They'll, they'll essentially support censoring somebody else for speech they don't like. But then if they themselves face censorship, the Tom Hardy Jewish lobby does. I'm who I'm referring to. Well, they're going to cry foul. But it says here in the article on the uh, Jewish Chronicle, this is. Uh, says, university accused of censoring students' film on David Miller. Robert Gordon University in Aberdeen told Ilania Silver not to make her film public because it could be defamatory. says in the article, a Scottish university has been accused of suppressing a documentary made by a Jewish student exposing a disgraced academic, David Miller, the JC can reveal. Ilania Silver, who graduated this summer with an undergraduate degree in journalism from Robert Gordon University in Aberdeen, was given a poor grade and told not to make her film public because it could be defamatory. Media lawyer Mark Lewis criticized the decision, telling JC, we have entered into an Alice in Wonderland world where academic uh, bastions of free speech are advising students not to make free not to try not to speak freely not good at reading stuff on a computer screen now watch the hypocrisy okay what we're going to see is that they actually were supporting censorship of the person this film was about but then when the film about that person gets censored well because it's speech they do like well they're going to actually invoke free speech for that while censoring that person's speech that they were trying to oppose see they only support free speech when it's something they agree with then they'll invoke that. But if it's speech they don't agree with, even if it's not even you know illegal per se, well, they would want it to be illegal because it's only just speech they like. That is That should be free expression in their in their warped worldview. Says a quote in the article, this is a classic example of a chilling effect where someone is told not to express their ideas in case they get sued. Now watch the hypocrisy. This is what they did to this person that the film was about. Barrister Jonathan Turner from the UK Lawyers for Israel said the film's publication would be in public interest and therefore permitted under Defamation Act 2013. Ms. Silver is now considering appealing to a higher education regulator. She decided to examine anti-Jewish racism at British universities because it is a passion of hers to expose it. Her supervisor did not seem to object to the idea, she said, but made a point telling her, quote, make sure you be careful, unquote. Now, watch, they did this exact same thing while complaining about it happening to them. The, the uh, Talmud Jewish lobby is who I'm referring to. Because they, again, they'll, they'll, they'll invoke free speech when they get censored, but then they support the exact same type of censorship against somebody else that they don't, they don't agree with. It says here in the article, Earlier this year, Ms. Silver interviewed students across the UK who had experienced anti-Semitism on campus. In Glasgow, she spoke to a Jewish student who discussed her university's failure to acknowledge, Jew acknowledge Jewish holidays and anti-Semitic hate speech she had received on social media. In Cambridge, she examined a case in which a professor of a post-colonial studies was accused by the Cambridge Jewish Society of, quote, echoing historical tropes about media control, unquote, over her criticism of a Jewish student journalist. The core of her film, however, was shot in Bristol and focused on the anti-Zionist academic David Miller. The former professor of political sociology was, uh, was fired by the University of Bristol in October in 2021 after an internal investigation found he, quote, did not meet the standards of behavior we expect from our staff, unquote. Mr. Miller claimed the Jewish society was an Israeli lobby group and that Israel is the enemy of world peace. Now, just look at this hypocrisy. So the, the Jewish, the Talmudic Jewish lobby, you know, they're, they're crying censorship when their film about this guy gets banned. But then they actually pressured for him, the guy the, guy the film is about, to have his speech banned on the on university campus. I mean, just you got to just love these double standards so openly and blatantly. They pretty much will do something essentially they'll censure somebody else and then when something when the exact same thing happens to them they just cry foul it's a bunch of garbage it shows their blatant hypocrisy it says miss silver's documentary featured an interview with nina friedman a former bristol uh, j so j whatever president who complained the university complained to the university over an inclin inclinary lecture gave by, uh, given by Mr. Miller. In the film, Ms. Friedman details her multiple complaints to the university over the academic's behavior and its failure to take action at the time. Directly quoting from Mr. Miller and setting out the previously reported information, 
uh, Ms. Freeman said, uh, quote, Miller uh, basically created this whole conspiracy theory he taught in his lecture where he linked Jewish communal organization in the UK and put them under the influence of Israel, which basically was saying that, th that they were linked to this in this conspiracy and that they were under pay or influence from Israel, which is an anti-Semitic trope. Uh, later, so quote later, it got a bit more serious. He started attacking me and other Jewish students personally and saying we were part of this bigger ploy under the state of Israel to get him fired or have influence in the UK. Well, that is, you know, okay, so I need to clarify something too. When it comes to my stance on Israel, I support racial Israel's right to be in that land physically, and that's it. I don't support the Israeli government, and I don't support, I'm not just some kind of, you know, some of these hyper-Zionistic evangelicals who just blindly, you know, agrees with everything Israel does. No, I, I support their right, racial Israel, okay, not the false religion of Judaism, but racial Israel's right to be physically in that land. That's it. That, that my, my support ends there. Okay, I'm not just kind of person who just says that Israel could do no wrong and they can never make mistakes. No, they, they actually are a pretty wicked nation over there. Okay, and my criticism of Jews is religious-based, okay? I criticize Judaism as a religion. I don't criticize racial Israel. Okay, when I talk, when I talk about, you know, why I would disparage on Talmudic Jews, I'm talking about religious Jews, not racial Israel. I want to just make that clarification. But the problem is, is that, you know, there is a level of influence that the Israeli lobby does have in some of these countries to censor speech and censor criticism in these countries of a foreign nation, which is Israel. You know, again, free speech is not just speech you agree with. You know, it, free speech with conditions is not free speech. And the Talmudic Jewish lobby will only invoke free speech, like I said, when they agree with it. But if, it, if, they, if they themselves are affected by censorship, well, they cry foul. It's a bunch of hypocritical garbage. And again, Nazi tactics, which is the censor speech you don't like. It's a bunch of garbage. But anyway, uh, don't be deceived by Judaism. It is a false religion, just like Roman Catholicism, which, by the way, is the chief of censoring speech they don't like during the, uh, or was the chief during the Middle Ages and still is today, subtly. So anyway, wanted to just throw that out there, bashing Mystery Babylon. But anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.